Kanye West provoked outrage last week when he published a music video depicting him kidnapping and decapitating a claymation replica of his ex-wife Kim Kardashian's new beau, Pete Davidson. It happened after weeks of Kanye, who legally changed his name to Ye last year, lashing out at Pete both online and in his new songs, with Kim even expressing concern for her new partner's safety in text published online by Kanye. So what was that video, and why did Kanye West publish it? What is the truth behind this? In this video, we are going to discuss all these. If you are interested, watch the video till the end. In February 2021, Kim divorced Ye and began dating Pete in October of the same year. Despite the fact that Ye has publicly dated other individuals in the past year, his and Kim's peaceful relationship came to an end in December when she filed to be legally single after he allegedly failed to reply to numerous requests to cancel their marriage. Ye's diatribe against both Pete and Kim resumed the next month, with his January single Easy criticizing Kim's parenting approach. In a series of now-deleted Instagram posts, Ye gave the cartoonist the moniker Skeet, as well as calling him junk and trash. He also encouraged his millions of fans to scream at Pete if they saw him out in public, as a result, Kim expressed her anxiety that someone may harm Pete in private texts that he put publicly, accusing Ye of creating a dangerous and scary environment. Upon my wife's request, please do nothing physical to skeet. I'm going to handle the situation myself, Ye said in response to her messages. Pete deactivated his Instagram account after his first post was bombarded with comments calling him skeet. Last month, Ye dropped his highly anticipated album, Donda 2, in which he was accused of threatening Pete once more. Although Kim and Pete haven't publicly addressed Ye's outburst, court filings released last month indicated that Ye had caused Kim emotional anguish by spreading misinformation on social media. Pete apparently sent Ye a private text message in which the SNL favorite appears to extend an olive branch by assuring that he will never stand in the way of Ye and his four children. But things hit new lows on Wednesday when Ye released the violent music video for Easy just hours after Kim was declared legally single in court. In the unsettling film, a caricature of Ye throws a bag over the head of a portrayal of Pete before blatantly kidnapping him and hauling his body on the back of a motorcycle. The Pete-like cartoon is then dragged across the floor and buried alive by Ye's duplicate. There are many animated scenes of Ye cradling Pete's severed head, which is much more horrific. Everyone lived happily ever after, except Skeet. The video finishes with this message regarding Pete. The word skeet has been crossed out and replaced with you know who. Pete has yet to publicly address the video, but social media users are urging him and Kim to sue Ye for harassment and seek a restraining order based on the video's threatening character. Kanye West is fucking humiliating, one individual posted. I hope Pete Davidson sues his ass for harassment. Another user added, I hope Kim and Pete use this in court to get restraining orders against Kanye. On Sunday, Ye responded to the reaction on his Instagram page, and also defending the violent scenes and condemning anyone who misinterpreted them as a threat of having malice towards him. While there has been a lot of public talk regarding Ye's recent behavior in recent days, Kim has gone on about her business as usual, attending Fashion Week and casually posting about Netflix reality show Love is Blind on her social media sites. She hasn't said anything about her ex-abuse husbands of her new lover, but she did show her support for Pete on Twitter last week. For the record, Pete Davidson is one of the nicest, sweetest individuals I know, filmmaker James Gunn tweeted after the release of the Easy Music video. He has a very generous, tender, and hilarious nature, and he respects everyone around him. Meanwhile, a source told Page Six that Pete is using Ye's antics to develop and that he is determined to transform all of the criticism into something great. Kanye West appeared to respond to criticism of his easy song and music video, which features lyrics like, God protected me from the crash, just so I can beat Pete Davidson's ass. A Kanye-like entity kidnaps, decapitates, and buries alive a caricature of Pete in the clay stop-motion video. Of course, some of the early critics argued that a music video in which a man decapitates his ex-new girlfriend's boyfriend is hardly art. Even if Kanye claims that his work is not a proxy for any bad or injury, I don't think that will be enough to calm the accusations that it is disturbing and reminiscent of abuser tactics. That's all about today's video. 
If you find it interested, please like the video and also leave a comment regarding this incident.